Hi, I'm Rachel Donegan. I am the Howe Libraries Emerging Technologies Librarian, and I am here to show you how to make something every week. This is Howe Makers. So we're here in Studio H with the Makey Makey. It's right here. It is hooked up with a USB cable into my laptop. And we are going to play some music with the Makey Makey, and we're going to make our own instruments. So we're going to make some bongos out of Play-Doh. So I have two larger lumps of Play-Doh here, and I have two smaller lumps of Play-Doh. And we are going to make bongo drums. So I'm going to roll these up into sort of drum shapes, little cylinders. There we go. It doesn't matter what color they are, but Play-Doh is salty, which so it's conductive, which is how this will work. Um, and I'm going to take these two smaller pieces and just flatten them out. These are going to be the skin of the drums. There we go. You can spend a little more time making these look really nice if you'd like. I'm just going to do them quickly so you can see how this process works. So there's my little drum, my little drum mushrooms. Um, so now we're going to hook up the Makey Makey. So for this one, we're going to use an app, which I will show you in a minute. Um, all we need is the left arrow key, which is right here. So I'm going to put in the space bar, which is right here. So we'll do the left arrow first. Put that. We're just going to take our alligator clip and just clip it in there. There's two holes the alligator clip can fit into. The other end goes into one of our bongos. Just squish the alligator clip in there and just make sure that the metal is making contact with the Play-Doh. The other alligator clip goes onto the space bar right here on the Makey Makey, and the other end goes into the bongo. There we go. So we have our two drums hooked up to our Makey Makey. So the app that we're going to use to play our bongos is apps.makeymakey.com slash bongos slash. You can also just Google Makey Makey Bongos. This app will come up. So I have the app open. I will show you what it looks like. There it is, it's got some drums. So you can play this without the Makey Makey if you want, but it's more fun with the Makey Makey. And what you have to do to play it, it's all set up. All you have to do is hold the bottom of the Makey Makey with your finger and it says Earth. So you wanna put one hand on that. We're gonna complete the circuit with our own bodies. So. Turn the volume down a little bit. So I can put these really close together, then I can play them both at the same time. That is pretty fun. So what what can you make with the Makey Makey? So there's this game, you may have heard of it. It's uh, called Go T-Rex or something like that. It's a game that I've seen kids play when there's no internet on Chrome. So it's a little dinosaur and he hops over cacti and it's a one click game, it's like a one button game and you just have to hit the space bar to make the dinosaur um, jump over the cactus. So I tried this out, I challenge you to figure out how to do this. I made my little T-Rex right here. So he is my space bar, so, which was really fun. So we played that game for a little bit. So that's only one other option. You can do all sorts of things with Makey Makey. I challenge you to make something completely new and different and have a lot of fun doing it. So the Makey Makey will be available from the library. You can take it home and try it out and do the projects that we've described here in the videos or do your own projects. Um, there's one thing I do ask that you do when you are done with your Makey Makey is to clean off the ends of the alligator wires that were in the Play-Doh. Because it's so salty, it tends to corrode the metal in the alligator wires and it makes them not work very well. Um, so if you clean them off, make sure you disconnect them, wipe them down really well with a damp rag or even give them a good rinse and then dry them. Um, that will make them last a lot longer so other people can also enjoy inventing with the Makey Makey. Um, have fun, enjoy it, um, see you next time.